Hey there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany Bundles and today's video is going to go over subscription based business ideas. Now this video is going to be really cool in my opinion because I love learning about new ways to make money. I've talked about how having multiple streams of income is very important on this channel. And not only did I talk about it, I've shared my journey. I've shared different ways that I was able to accumulate different streams of income. And last year, I really focused on mobile money, right? Being able to make money from wherever I was. I shared my experiences some years back of when I started my salon and how I felt about working in my salon, having a brick and mortar location. And then also how I felt about being able to move around freely, be with my kids, be at home, be at a game, wherever I wanted to be and still be able to generate money. And I, I enjoy sharing those tips and experiences with you all. If you're new to this channel, I encourage you to subscribe because I have tons of business videos. I also do a podcast, which I post some of the episodes on this channel as well. And the podcast highlights different entrepreneurial experiences, mine included. Um, also, I do different how-to videos. Um, I have some beauty videos where I talk about my micro lock updates and then also different nail updates and just, you know, different things like that. So it's a really cool channel to be connected to. I appreciate each and every one of you that has subscribed and I appreciate each and every one of you that are going to click that subscribe button right now. So without further ado, I'm going to encourage you all to subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up and I'm going to get right into the video. So I'm going to be looking at my notes. I have them right here. All right. So the first thing that I want to get into is I want to talk a little bit about the subscription based service that I've offered for about what four, three, four years at this point. So I sell hair extensions. My hair website is badchickhair.com. The link is down below. And I started offering drop shipping services. Now with my drop shipping service, I don't have a subscription service where it automatically renews and takes money off of my members cards or their checking account or anything like that. But it is a service that needs to be renewed to continue using every quarter. So I've been offering that service, like I said, for some years at this point. And that service is consistent income because I'm constantly getting money for offering this service. Now, there are people that set up their subscription services to withdraw automatic. Um, in my opinion, that works great if your customers and clients are interested in that. Um, for me, it's just I've always had an option to not be automatically um, uh, renewed. You know, you, you have the option to come back and renew each time. I have a renewal option on my website. But no matter which way you decide to set up the subscription service, it's a great way to keep income coming through because you already have your clients and it's just going to hopefully get bigger, right? You know, there are going to be some people that may cancel. There are going to be some people that may not pay the next quarter. But if you're offering a valuable subscription, it's pretty much guaranteed money in the aspect that people are going to want to purchase again or want you to um, draft their, their bank account again or want to sign up again so that they can continue utilizing the service. So my um, particular um, experience, when I'm offering drop shipping services, these are people that have hair businesses already. These are people that have decided to use drop shipping either as their primary method for selling hair extensions, as their inventory source, or as a backup. But either way, a lot of the people that I work with find it very beneficial to continue to renew or to stay connected with the drop shipping service. And so, like I said, it is, I don't want to say guaranteed income, but it is um, consistent income in the aspect, like I said, that people that find value in what I'm offering, they're going to sign up. So uh, the first tip that I have for you all, or the first business idea is mentoring. Now I offer mentoring as well, but I don't offer it in a subscription-based service. I offer it in a way where you purchase mentoring and you're able to get mentored for a, a certain duration of time. But there are different mentoring services where it's ongoing. And as long as people find value in what you're offering, how you're mentoring, how you're empowering them, what resources you're bringing, more than likely people are going to continue to renew their service. And so this is a win-win for both. You know, I think subscription services so often they have like this bad rep, like it's a it's a scam. You know, people are just getting money for free and and that's really not it. People are going to more than likely cancel a subscription service that they're not using, um, even if they forget about it. Like, let's say you have a subscription service that's automatically renewing. Um, more than likely, they're going to catch that. You know, another subscription service that I am using and I have used in the past is Patreon. Patreon automatically debits an amount 
each month, um, depending on the amount that you set for people to be able to view your Patreon content if you set it up that way. They do have some free options as well. If you want free, um, you know, certain uh, content on your Patreon to be free. But what I've noticed is that, yeah, people may forget about a subscription service just like you and I may forget. But typically, if you're seeing a recurring charge, um, you're going to catch it one, you know, I, I believe a lot of people are going to catch it. So I don't think that subscription service should be looked at as a way to get over on people. I really don't like the rap that it has behind because that's like a, a myth behind subscription services, you know, get a subscription service and people are just going to automatically forget that they are paying for the subscription and you're going to get money. Instead of having that mindset, I really want to challenge all of you to have the mindset of, I'm going to provide so much value that people are one, going to want to continue to utilize my service and pay for the service fee. That's one of the reasons that I don't have to do automatic withdrawals or have an automatic debit for my dropshipping services because the people that work with me, they've been working, a lot of them have been working with me for years and they already know how I operate. They know the value that I offer. They know the quality of the products that they're sending out to their customers and clients. And so they automatically take it upon themselves to renew. So if you're providing good, valuable information through your mentoring service, good valuable resources through mentoring people are going to want to stay connected and you have the option to decide how you want to set it up so maybe you want to do something where you're mentoring and um the first you know the payment that they pay covers them for the first 60 days and every two months if they want to stay connected to mentoring they need to renew um, so that's something that you can consider doing as well. So a mentoring service. And again, you can structure it however you want to structure it. I'm not going to go into very um, uh, specific details on how you can structure the mentoring service unless you all want a dedicated video to that. Like I said, I do offer mentoring and I have for over a year at this point and I have my mentoring services right on my website. So people literally click the, the option, they purchase and we start working from there. But there is, there is a, a good industry and a good income stream with turning your mentoring services into a subscription-based service if they're not already. The second option that I wanna go over is a book club, okay? So recently I've been getting a lot of different, I've, I've been, I'm not even getting, I've been seeing a lot of different options to join certain book clubs, especially on YouTube. And joining a book club was something I've always kind of wanted to do, but I've never really looked too deep into it to actually join one. So just scrolling on YouTube and looking at some of the different book clubs that, there, that are available, I've noticed that it sounds like a really, really good idea. So what I've seen people do is create a website where you literally purchase like the book club membership and each every 30 days that you're in the book club, you have to renew in order to keep access or, or continue with the book club. And so they have this book that you purchase and they have different um, dates that they all connect everyone in the book club and they go over the book in detail they talk about some questions they may have they talk about different insightful information that they've stumbled across they talk about their thoughts and their ideas with the passages that they've read and it's like it's a, you're, you're paying for more than just the book reading experience you're actually paying for the experience of being able to connect and share and uh, get information and insight and thoughts from other people that are reading the exact same book in the exact same spots um, that you've read, you know? So I think that's really cool. If you're interested or into reading, if you're into um, being able to connect with people and um, host or conduct a, a group uh, as far as like reviewing books and reviewing, you know, going over different thoughts and passages and things like that, I think that a book club would be a great idea for you. Um, and like I said, I've, I've kind of scrolled on YouTube and saw different book club options where people are literally creating a website and you purchase the, the book membership that gives you information as to what day the, the you know, your meetups are and the classes are, or the meetings are, however you want to phrase that. And then it um, tells you how often you have to purchase or subscribe to the membership or renew your membership in order to to stay active. So just imagine that you're doing a book club and it's on a 30 day basis and you're halfway through the book you know, if the book club is valuable and if you're enjoying the conversations and the interactions that you're having, are you not going to want to renew for another 30 days so that you can continue to finish that book, can continue to have conversations? I'm pretty sure you will. And that's what I was mentioning in the beginning. It's all about the value that you can consistently offer to people. This is pretty much building your bank of repeat business, which is super important in business. I've talked about this a lot on my channel. Uh, I'm, I'm not someone that's going to tell you, hey, sell the cheapest item that you can or the cheapest product that you can. 
to get the most profit because a lot of times what people have found out and I've, I've, I've actually been a witness to this, like I said, doing different consultations with businesses and different mentoring, I have the privilege of being able to see kind of like the back end of what happens on a lot of different or what happens uh, with a lot of e-commerce businesses. And that does not help with repeat business. Yes, you might get a lot of people purchasing initially, but if you don't have those same people coming back to repurchase, it's, it's, it's not going to be as beneficial for your business, um, for your business's bottom line in the, in the grand scheme of things, you know? So I, I like to look at business like I look at life. I don't just look at one specific area and one specific month, but I look at what are my goals for this business? What, what am I wanting to get out of this? What reputation am I, am I wanting to, to grow? Um, how am I going to keep uh, relevant and meaningful relationships with potential customers and clients? So that's something to keep in mind. Um, another thing that you want to consider is drop shipping. So like I mentioned, I do drop shipping where I offer um, hair extensions, but there are other drop shipping services where people offer um, clothes, they have clothes drop shipping, like a boutique type of drop shipping businesses. They have different um, like accessories uh, drop shipping businesses. I mean, there's so many different drop shipping businesses out there. If you even just Google drop shipping businesses, so many different ideas are gonna pop up. And that's something else that you can look into creating your own drop shipping business where your um, customers or clients are going to purchase every quarter or every month or every couple months, you know, just whatever works best for you. The next thing that I wanna go over is Patreon. So like I mentioned, I'm on Patreon. I do girl talks on Patreon um, and just motivational, inspirational uh, content. I do, I have different journal prompts on Patreon. So that's uh, another subscription service, like I mentioned, where you can really be creative and you can charge for your um, content. So if you're doing something that's different than what you're doing on your traditional platforms, or let's say that you don't have a traditional platform and you're wanting to get started, doing some kind of content, uh, you can consider going to Patreon and, and charging a subscription amount for everyone that is con uh, signed up for your Patreon. Patreon also has an option where you can offer like a free trial. So you can do um, certain, you know, you can allow people to experience the content for free to see if this is something that they're wanting to commit to and pay for each month. And then when they're no longer interested or if they no longer want to pay, they can just go ahead and stop their subscription. So it's important to continue to provide value and not look at subscription services. Like I said before, it's just a lazy way to make money from people that forgot to cancel. Because like I said, I believe a lot of people that forgot are going to remember. And by the time they remember, um, you know, that's all you're going off of. I don't know how successful the subscription business will be. It's really important to continue to bring value. And the only reason I'm saying that is because when I looked up subscription-based businesses, there were a lot of forums going over, yeah, it's a great way to make money because people forget. But I'm like, no, don't think like that. Think about the value that you're going to add to this to the subscription service, why the subscription service is going to be valuable for the people that are partaking in it. And then the last thing is um, live classes. So right now I'm working on a masterclass. It's a, a sales masterclass. If you are interested in taking advantage of it, you can go to my website, keepingupwithbrittany.com, and you can create an account. If you create an account, you're gonna get access to different private pages. And then you're also gonna be enrolled in my email mailing list where I send out a free copy of the masterclass. The masterclass is gonna go over different sales tips. We're actually gonna be focusing on finding your target audience and then also marketing to your target audience organically. So if you're interested in that, be sure to go to my website, keepingupwithbrittany.com and sign up for my email mailing list. But live classes, so even if you don't wanna do live classes, pre-recorded classes where you're going over different information, you know, you're, you're actually explaining how to do something or how something works or what the what this service or product means or you're actually doing something that people find interesting i would prefer i would actually recommend finding a niche that you're going to talk about so if you want to do like different business how to's and people are subscribing to your your live classes or to your classroom or academy or however you want to market it so that they constantly get biz or business tips or information about your business that's going to be something that's beneficial as well I think I may have said this is the last thing, but I have something else too. I also wanted to go over newsletters. So currently I don't um, charge for anyone to sign up for my newsletter because my newsletters, um, the newsletter that I've had for the longest is my hair uh, newsletter for badchickhair.com. And I provided some tips here and there, but it, it wasn't packed with hair tips, right? It was really a way, and it is a way still to promote when I'm offering different sales and discounts and products that I have to really highlight that and promote it. 
And so there are different newsletters that you can subscribe to and actually pay for that's providing valuable information, similar to the live class idea that I just went over. So there are people that prefer to learn via videos and um, podcasts or people that prefer to learn via reading and actually going in person to different workshops. It really just depends. But if you're going to have live classes, I think it's also good to consider doing a, a newsletter, a subscription-based newsletter, where you provide valuable information on a consistent basis and the people that find your information valuable will subscribe, okay? So those are some ideas for subscription-based services. I really hope that they helped. If you want any more in-depth tips or information on any of the subscription services that I went over, please leave a comment below and I'll make another dedicated video um, about that. I just didn't want the video to be longer than what it already is. I appreciate you all for watching and I will talk to you all in the next video. Bye.